Today we're going to talk about our solar system and whether or not it can power our three ton HVAC system in our house. The simple answer is yes, but there need to be some modifications to our HVAC system to be able to do that. And we're going to talk about why we are not doing that and it's not the right thing for us to do. So first I need to explain our solar system and what components I have. If you haven't seen any of our videos on this complete installation, which we did by ourselves, go click on this playlist at the top of the screen. So we have 20 440 watt solar ever panels. We have two grow watt off grid 5000 ES US models for our inverters. And then we have five EG4LL batteries from Signature Solar for a total of 500 amp hours, and they're all 48 volts. And we also did a load testing video, which you can check out at the top of the screen. But that system, which is what we could afford at the time, will not fire up our three ton AC unit. So the old system that came with the house is a three ton 13 sear heat pump. And it's a decent brand, but it doesn't work very well at all. We've lived in this house for six years and it's already had to be repaired three times for a total of about $1,000 worth of repairs. Additionally, it has a coolant leak or a refrigerant leak in the line somewhere. It's a very small leak. I have to have that filled every two years to bring it back up to the proper uh, level of refrigerant. So the reason I said yes at the beginning of the video is I can install a soft start for this HVAC system and it will run on our solar. The soft start is gonna be about $400 plus or minus and then the labor to put it in because I don't have the skill to put in that type of thing. So figure maybe, I don't know, 800, 900 bucks. Do I want to sink that kind of cost into my system, which is 13 years old? The answer to that is no. Now, I could look at getting a soft start and replacing the system. Obviously, the duct work is already there. That will cost me upwards of, on average, $8,000. So between five and 11 grand. Do I wanna do that? No. So what's the solution? Mini splits. Now, why would I choose mini split systems? Well, they're extremely efficient and their startup amperage is very, very small. So you can run them on a solar system with no issues at all. Even a solar system that is medium sized like mine. So the startup amps on my old HVAC system is about 22 and then the running amps are anywhere between 12 and 15. On the mini splits, the running amps are about four and the startup is about six. And that's for a 9,000 BTU unit. And check it out. This is the mini split we are using right here. It's by Innovair. I bought it from Signature Solar. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description below. But look at this thing, 38 sear. Okay, now that sear rating is seasonal energy efficiency ratio. That is perfect lab conditions on everything. So nothing ever hits their perfect sear rating that they have on the box but this is pretty much the highest I've ever seen. So we're gonna test it out. We're gonna do an entire video coming up soon about how to install this yourself. So the cool thing about this is it only takes a 15 amp breaker with 14.3 wire. So that means you're gonna save money on wire. And when you're running it from one end of your house to the other like we are, that's gonna make a difference. Now this being the 9,000 BTU unit, you can do that. You can do it with the 12, the 18 and the 24, you have to have a 20 amp breaker and then upsize your wire to 12. We're gonna have four head units in the house, but one is gonna be a, a dual system. So a dual head unit system. So only three of these main units outside. Now another rating is the HSPF or the heating seasonal performance factor. And on this one, it's 15, which is almost off the chart. It's on the energy guide here. Normal, a normal great unit is about eight. So that's almost double. We're gonna see how that works, but I'm really excited to get this installed. And I've already run all the wire in the house to install these. So let's talk about some reasons why I like this better than a traditional forced air system. On a forced air system, you only have one zone of control on an older system like mine. I mean, newer ones, you can maybe change that, uh, but you're gonna spend more. On this one, 
you can zone it. Obviously, it's already zoned because of the way it's set up. So in our bedroom where this one is going, I could have it set at, I don't know, 74. In the kids' rooms, maybe they get a little bit more warm on that side of the house. I can set it at 70. In the central space, I can turn it down at night. I can play with how the temperatures are in the house. Now, a huge factor with this is that it will heat down to a very cold outside ambient air temperature. And what I mean is this will heat your home even though it's negative 22 degrees outside. My current heat pump, the old HVAC system, that heat pump it struggles at 35 degrees outside to heat the house. So it's constantly running, which makes it way more inefficient. So if this can heat and it's negative 22 outside, this is what I'm doing. Another reason is the fan in the head unit is a variable speed. So just like being able to zone it for temperature, you can vary the speed of that fan so it's not really blowing on you really hard. And obviously, the lower you turn it down, the quieter it is. So you, I have zero control about the fan speed and the noise of the current system in the house. This one, I can play with it, and I believe the lowest decibel rate on this is 29. And if you live in a desert area that gets really hot, say outside of Vegas, this unit will cool your house down when there's an ambient temperature outside of upwards of 129 degrees. So, you know, that's, that's desert temperatures right there, and this thing will still produce cool air for your home. So you're asking, well, how much do these things cost? Well, this one right here, 9,000 BTU, it will take care of our entire master suite, was 1,200 bucks. Add that to the other units and I will spend about $5,000. But you gotta ask yourself, to do a replacement on your whole house system and adding in a soft start, is that worth it? Is that worth it or is it worth it to get some smaller units with all those other characteristics, those positive characteristics I talked about with the zoning and the variable speeds and the low amp draw, all of that. You have to make the decision yourself. But for us, I think that old system is done. I'm getting rid of it and we are going with these because they just work better on a smaller or medium-sized solar system like we have. So if you have any questions about what we talked about today, please leave them for me in the comment section below. And don't forget to keep watching the channel to see how we install this. Now go click on this video right here where we talk about how amazing our solar batteries are for our house. Have a beautiful blessed day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.